Hello and welcome to Kinibis. Uh, today we have uh, uh, two colleagues from F-Secure, uh, Yari and Robert. Uh, F-Secure is a security uh, technology company and we'll be talking about uh, what uh, uh, F-Secure and what they're doing here in, in Malaysia. Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. to Kinibis. Thank you very much. Hello Yari. Hello Robert. Um, first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, F-Secure, your background and, and, and what does F-Secure do? F-Secure is a relatively old company, so the company was founded in 88 and um, so since then we have been uh, following uh, the internet development uh, very very closely and, and uh, today um, we have about 1,000 employees okay. all around the world, uh, 25 offices and um, our headquarters is in Helsinki in Finland yeah. and in Malaysia uh, we have uh, our Asia Pacific headquarters uh, and, and um, actually Malaysia is also um, acting as a um, second biggest um, development center for F-Secure. Uh, it's fantastic, you chose Malaysia to, for your big development center. Yes, actually it was not a uh, too difficult choice. Uh, yeah. we, we did uh, consider a few other options as well, but um, then we came to the conclusion, actually it was 2006, um, okay. uh, that Malaysia can offer us uh, the best uh, possibilities uh, to innovate and, and find uh, talented people. and, and um, also, we have been working very closely with Malaysian government, sure. um, establishing our, our, our establishing our setup here in Malaysia. And That's uh, fantastic. I must say that we are very happy to be here. <laughs> fantastic. So, I understand App Secure provides security software, right? So, for the user, this will mean antivirus. You know, that's what they, they we understand. So, uh, how is App Secure different from you know other competitors in the field? Yeah. Well, we provide. Um, multiple different uh, solutions um, so we are uh, providing solutions for consumers and for lots uh, companies um, and, and uh, basically we have uh, of course antivirus and uh, security um, uh, solution is the basis uh, mm. of, 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 for our solution but um, actually security and safety is much more than just antivirus and securing viruses okay. uh, sure. so it is about the social media it is about uh, uh, different kind of uh, banking uh, uh, protection uh, sure. elements um, uh, also, uh, there is one important element um, in safety um, uh, content, and, and, and people are very emotional about their content and, and okay. how they can uh, safely use the content from their all, all devices, what, what they have. And, and uh, security is uh, it's a, it's a wide range of things. And, and, okay. uh, and so, Robert, would you say that you guys are the best in the field? Uh, are you number one? Can you say that? Without question. Without <laughs> question. <laughs> Uh, what 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 do you think are the are the are the key um, 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 security challenges these days? As the internet evolves, now we're moving more into a cloud environment. More stuff is is is, is um, uh, stored in the cloud. What are the key issues? Uh, as you said, the world is going mobile, and so F Secure is following that, and we're we're trying to be everywhere that people have um, something that is irreplaceable. So that's our yeah. motto: protecting. The so what are the new one. issues happening? What, what should be people concerned of you know, right now as opposed to five years ago in terms of security? Um, let's say five years ago, um, uh, we also focused very heavily uh, to protect a device, right. whether it was a PC or laptop or sure. mobile device. Sure. But um, today, actually, we are dealing with a much more complicated um, a threat scenario and landscape uh, because uh, many companies, uh, for example, they are talking about the bring your own device uh, kind of environments okay. and, and uh, basically people are carrying uh, heavily uh, personal content uh, uh, together with uh, the company uh, content, content. And, right. and then of course our job um, is uh, yeah. to ensure that all of this can be done in a safe and secure way okay. and it brings a lot more complications and also threats um, uh, how, how people are trying to uh, to attack uh, that kind of environments. Okay. Who who would be your biggest customers in terms of you know for F secure? Yeah. So in a consumer market segment, we are heavily uh, focusing to work with uh, operators, um, mm. telco uh, operators, telco operators, and so so today we have about uh, more than two hundred operators in the world, and, and uh, so typically our biggest customers and partners are the biggest operators of different countries, and, and uh, then we also uh, we have uh, many uh, big uh, customers from. Uh, banking segment and, and, and from government segments um, as because we are the best and number one in the world when it comes to the protection capabilities uh, okay. so typically very sensitive uh, areas uh, like uh, banking environments and uh, so, so they, they, they like to use the best breed of uh, solutions. So uh, banking, telcos would be some of your biggest customers? Yes, but the telcos are actually offering our solutions as a value-added services to their end customers. Okay. And, and okay. Uh, that is, uh, the, the, so our model is more uh, this kind of security as a service model. So right. we are offering a kind of a monthly subscription-based solutions um, 
uh, to the end customers. Okay, and I understand that you are hosting a hackathon, right? Where you're bringing uh, Malaysian developers, you know, to your offices here in Bangsa South, um, and they're going to be hacking uh, or developing code over um, a thirty-hour period, right? Yes. Can you tell us a bit why why this uh, hackathon? Uh, so yeah, the hackathon um, is happening on the twelfth and thirteenth of April. Um, and we are, it's the first time ever F Secure is going to have an external hackathon where okay. we're going to let uh, local Malaysian developers come. It's open first time in Malaysia or first time globally? Globally, it's the okay. first time we're okay. ever letting external hackers, uh, oh. developers come and uh, use our APIs. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's a big news for us. So, what, so you know, what, what do you hope to gain from this uh, hackathon? Uh, so, as, as Yari said, we are number one, and we're number one by like constantly innovating and, and creating new applications and um, uh, delivering value to the end user. So, uh, one of the ways that we do that is by building new products, trying out new ideas, innovating, okay. constantly trying to uh, evolve and, and try new things. So, we want to kind of um, uh, see what the local developers can build using our APIs. Right. So they come in and they have APIs, and they're given thirty hours to put something together. Is that it? Exactly. That is correct. And what happens? Do they get a prize? Do they win? Yeah, so hackathons are really about the challenge of, right. of, of solving a problem, of right. writing an application from scratch. Um, so we do have prizes, of course. You know, what's, I mean, the, what's, what's the biggest prize? What, what's in it for them? Uh, so the biggest prize is one of those prizes you know, money can't buy. It's um, a dinner with Miko Hippinen, who is uh, F-Secure's uh, chief research officer and one of the world's leading um, anti-malware analysts okay. and of course we have the usual prizes as well and I hope that we can also maybe even in the future offer some uh, job possibilities for some of the people so that might be also counted as a good price. Right. Uh, so that's mm -hmm. a way to recruit, recruit the best right exactly. to get involved and, and, and recruit it. So going forward are you going to be expanding in Malaysia? What else is happening in, in, uh, in Malaysia? Yeah. So I can see very clearly uh, a big growth in uh, SMB market, small medium sized companies and, and uh, also the mobile usage, uh, smartphone usage um, and, and the need for security. Mm. Uh, so, so there is a very heavy growth in that area and we are investing a lot in, in, uh, to be able to be um, uh, a big player in, in that segment. But we are also expanding um, uh, heavily in Southeast Asian countries. Uh, so Southeast Asia is quite a new market segment for us and, and uh, uh, we are, as a company we are looking for uh, a growth and, and we are uh, we just opened um, uh, multiple offices in Latin America. We are currently expanding in the Middle East and uh, Southeast Asia and Malaysia is uh, our, this is our home. Okay. Or I can say our second home because uh, Finland is uh, um, our this first. Is your, this is your warmer home. That's yes, yeah. that's the original home. But, uh, yeah. but I consider Malaysia as, as a very important hub for us. Um, and and uh, it is an innovation hub, but uh, of course uh, there's a lot of um, business also um, and, and growth um, happening in Malaysia. And I believe that uh, uh, that we all um, local players here in the industry together with the operators, uh, mm. government um, and, and us, uh, uh, players like us. Uh, so we have to educate the market more and more and help uh, okay. people to understand um, how they can use uh, internet and all of their devices in a safe way because people should be using uh, all uh, applications and services. They shouldn't be worried about sure. uh, about uh, safety. Uh, our job is to, to provide uh, protection for all of these people. And, uh, That's fantastic. Next time when I'm using my phone, my tablets, I'll be thinking F secure. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will do a great work to make sure our communication is secure. Thank you very much for being on Kinibis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.